Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing Unit 6 Designing and Deploying WSN Applications. The contents of this unit are Designing and Deploying WSN Applications, Early WSN Deployments, General Problems, General Testing and Validation, Requirement Analysis, the Top-Down Design Approach, Bottom-Up Implementation Process. The general problems that usually occur in a network or in a WSN application are node problems, link problems, path problems, and global problems. Node problems occur on individual nodes and affect their behavior only. Link problems affect, affect the communication between neighbor nodes. Path problems affect the whole path of the communication over multiple hops. And global problems affect the network as a whole. Typical problems to expect are Node deaths and seemingly dead nodes, interference, missing short links, unexpected long links, or partition networks, short network lifetime, semantic or data problems. Interference in the environment causes various communication problems in the network as a whole. The changing properties of the environment such as weather conditions, furniture, or people density causes various communication problems but also other hardware problems such as complete shutdowns due to low temperature, battery issues. Battery issues cause not only problems at the node level, but also for communication and sensing as the hardware performance deteriorates slowly with decreasing battery levels. Hardware reliability. Hardware reliability causes various global problems such as communication issues, sensing issues, and also node reboots. Hardware calibration is a typical problem for sensing because it delivers wrong sensor data. Low visibility of the node's internal states does not directly cause problems but favors unrecognized errors until late in the design process, which prove to be hard to detect and resolve. General testing and validation. For each phase, the testing and validation methods are provided. For example, for the requirement analysis is mostly done on paper. The implementation is tested in simulation as well as on testbed. Usually, we start on paper with the theoretical models to validate the general idea and algorithms. Then we proceed with the implementation and simulate the system. We increase the complexity by moving from simulation to a testbed deployment. We further stress the system by introducing all real world properties in a test deployment. And finally, you should be ready to face the normal operation of the system in its final deployment site. What are the steps to design and implement a new WSN application? The first step is you need to analyze the requirements. When we say analyze the requirements, it should include the details about the environment, the lifetime of it, the data itself, and the user's expectations. Second step is you need to design the system top to down. First, by identifying the properties of the network as a whole, followed by the node neighborhood, and then the individual nodes finally need to identify the individual components of the nodes. The next step is to derive the needed hardware and software components and finally implement and test the system bottom up. Starting from the individual hardware and software components and then proceeding with the node as a whole and then the network as a whole. This is a grape wine yard. First, we do the requirement analysis. For that, we analyze the environment, the lifetime and energy requirements, the required data, and the user's expectations. We go for the top-down design process. First step, the network, then the node neighborhood, the node, and then finally, the individual components of the node. The derived required components for the Vineguard application have been shown in this figure the software, the firmware operating system, the hardware. We take the network, individual nodes, we take the application requirements, global network, and the environment into consideration. 
software, we take into consideration the regular sensing, the multi-hop routing, link quality and management, battery and status monitor, localization, and time synchronization. In firmware and operating, or operating system, we go for reprogrammable, wireless commands, modular, and protocol or algorithm library. Hardware, go for a typical microcontroller, Zigbee radio, humidity sensor, temperature sensor, solar radiation sensor, extendable with other sensors, rechargeable solar batteries. Principles and tools that are required for testing and evaluating a new WSN application is testing is performed in theory, on paper, simulation, then hardware test beds, and on deployment sites. The testing should be performed incrementally adding complexity in each individual evaluation step. Then we go for bottom-up implementation process. Price, you can expect the price of a complete solution to be much higher than for homemade solutions. Second is requirement fulfillment. Are all the requirements really fulfilled? You need to check carefully all the items. For example, some off-the-shelf solutions might not offer solar batteries. Furthermore, the use of data and their representation might be different from what the user is actually expecting. Third, programmability. Can you change the software or is it proprietary? This is very important when the application or some of the software components are rather non-standard. This is often the case when the consumer-oriented products, with the consumer-oriented products such as smart home systems. Third is extendability. Especially when the user would like to extend the system later, it is crucial to select a system, which can be freely extended and modified. This is clearly given in homemade systems, but often it is a trouble with the off-the-shelf solutions. And lastly, service agreement. Off-the-shelf solutions often offer paid service agreements, which guarantee the work of the system to some extent. This is convenient, but also inflexible. This slide shows examples of various sensors, current sensor, distance sensor, force or pressure sensor, gas sensor, temperature and humidity sensor, and water sensor. That's all for now. Thank you.